this Roblox player actually died. Just kidding, I made that up just now. But that's exactly what people are doing currently on Roblox. And we're gonna investigate these so-called deaths to expose that they're fake. So HJack Roblox was a Roblox YouTuber who heavily focused on Roblox giveaways. But back in late 2020, it was announced on Twitter that he had supposedly passed away. So let's check it out. So free Roblox livestream scammers are the scum of the Roblox community. Like if you type in Roblox live, you get all this stuff. And I've made plenty of videos talking about it and they will do anything for a view, even if that means faking their death. And that's what It's Jack Roblox did. So I can't really show you the tweets in live time because his account is suspended. I wonder why. So I have to go off like past screenshots. So credit to William the Great. So this dude was just known for tweeting out stuff to get followers on Twitter. And one day something was tweeted that uh, was a little weird, I guess you could say. This tweet was from his mom tweeting from his account. And it basically says, this is Jack's mom and he passed away and they're very sad. This seems pretty realistic, the first tweet. But then the next tweet says, this is not fake. Some people are disgusting, but the nice people will be getting his leftover Robux. No grieving parent would do that. No person would do that. In the right mind, I don't think. If you don't believe that's fake there, there's some more tweets. So this tweet is from his mom too, which basically says, so since Jack has quit Roblox, he quit Roblox. He's giving all of his group funds away. Nearly everyone that retweets this tweet and follows me plus notifications will get Robux. Why would his mom care about that from his account? That doesn't make sense. My mom doesn't even know how to work technology. I don't think anyone over the age of 30 knows how to work a cell phone right. So I don't know anyone's parent who could give away Robux in a group. So this was on um, October 31st, 2020. Keep that in mind because then the next tweet, there's another tweet, <laughs> believe it or not. That's like, for every like, I will punch myself that many times. November 1st, 2020. So the next day, he faked it. What person does that? If that tweet was up, I would be liking that button. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> so we can actually look at his Roblox profile. And last time he was online was a year ago. Let me tell you why he's not online. Because he abandoned this account. He has other ones. So there was this tweet that happened at the time. Like he owns like multiple accounts basically. And he scams different people. And like the account that we were looking at used to say ex Roblox admin. And of course he is not an admin. I don't think Roblox would ever make this dude an admin. Just because he has a fedora hat. I mean he definitely owns multiple different accounts. And he just abandoned this one last online a year ago. Like this one that Flamingo I guess was looking at called Roblox employee Joel looked exactly like the one we were just looking at. Like this dude owns multiple accounts. Supremacy YouTube. Wait, let's look that up. Supremacy YouTube. There he is. Click on it and the account is deleted. I wouldn't be surprised if he got like IP banned. Like these scammers, they don't care if they get caught. They just make new accounts and keep going. Like here are their friends. If we could just click on this dude, like a random friend. King Roblox YouTube. I wouldn't be surprised if this is him as well with like a weird Roblox hobby. I don't know. Like I wouldn't be surprised if all these people are him. These are like the same people, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they look the same. They are the same. Last online a month ago. This account is not affiliated with any YouTube channels. That's sus. Why do you need to specifically say that? I'm going down a rabbit hole. This guy has like a group that has 200,000 people in it. You're a liar, aren't you? Oh, he's in this group. I didn't even notice that. He's in, yeah, he's in the Stickmaster Jewel group. This was his old account that got banned. But yeah, this guy's not dead. He's just a scammer that abandons his old accounts and makes new ones to scam other people. So yeah. So according to this TikTok, this girl died in a car accident on February 25th of this year. So let's check it out. So we're going to look up FK0909. So we click on her last online 10 hours ago. I think she's still here. I prefer to play games alone. To my friends reading this, don't join the games I'm playing. Thanks for reading. He's obviously online. Wants to be left alone. I think someone was just like, yeah, she doesn't want to play with me. So I'm going to make this lore that she died. She has a YouTube channel link too. She's active on her YouTube channel. One day ago, Pac-Man nerd moment. Does she know that there's a whole lore behind her being dead? Does she know this? Definitely not dead. She just wants to be alone. Don't play with her. So apparently this user was a gold digger and supposedly scammed all of her slender boyfriends. And then one of her boyfriends had asked for her address and it turned out that he was actually a creepy old man. This man kidnapped her and all she could do was cry for help through her Roblox profile bio. After a while being kidnapped, she passed away on January 14th, 2022. Okay, so this person named Aurora X09, we click on her. She's apparently kidnapped and she could only talk through her like description, which if 
you have a phone, you won't be like, yeah, I'm gonna log on to Roblox, change my bio, and hopefully someone randomly on Roblox will see me and call for help, even though these people on Roblox don't know anything about me. No, it doesn't make sense. I don't understand why people fall for this. She really wasn't on like a year ago, so that is a little bit believable. She's friends with someone who looks like her. Last online five months ago, this girl looks exactly like her. And then she has another one, another twin. But she's kind of the ugly twin with the woman face. Yeah, they all look alike. They were all made around the same day too. 424, 423, 422. There's more. Oh my God, why? 321. Why do they all look alike? Are they besties? Or is this the same person? I I don't know. It's really hard to say because kids, they like copying each other. So I'm assuming they all like copying each other. And then this girl was made 426. Like the other accounts, my name is Ash. This girl's name is Ash too. What if all these accounts are hers? The dots are connecting. People just see inactive like noob accounts and they're just like, yep, I'm gonna make lore about that one. So this user you may have heard of is named Death Dolly. And supposedly her mom passed away, which made her upset and start hacking people. And this apparently made her pretty popular through 2019 through 2020. But all of a sudden, Death Dolly passed away from a car accident. So let's check it out. All right, so Death Dolly. Oh, I, I don't think this is Death Dolly's um profile. <laughs> 121,000 followers. No, this is not the one that I'm talking about. I'm trying to find her Roblox user, but there's so many people who impersonate Death Dolly. There's like a ton of YouTubers too. Like you type in Death Dolly, like there's like one called Dolly. There's one called Death Dolly. I think there's one called like Death Dolly, like rebooted. There's another one, but uh, hey, apparently she's back. I'm back and I'm more powerful than ever. She's in Ragdoll Engine. Why is that the thing for her like hackers to go in Ragdoll Engine? So stay on the lookout out because Dolly is coming. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to spit. What are the comments? Fake, haha. <laughs> but yeah, she's not dead. If you couldn't understand this, she is right there on TikTok. She's a TikTok influencer now. She's trying to become a star creator on Roblox because TikTokers now can be. But anyways, let's see if there's any dead people on Roblox because that's fun. Funeral for DMD. Dragon Master has been active for quite a while, so we decided to make a funeral. This exactly sums up people on Roblox. They see their friend hasn't been online for maybe like a month or something. Then they're like, time to throw a funeral. Maybe they just grew out of Roblox and they're playing Minecraft. Ever thought about that? <laughs> my goodness. Guys, if I die, my one wish is for you guys to make a Roblox game funeral for me. Oh my God, I'm naked. Honestly, this is like such a powerful friendship. If you're like, yep, my friend hasn't been online. Let me just make a game for him. Iconic. Hello, this is a beautiful area. We go to it. He's naked. Are you alive? Shirtless funeral. Epic. Let's check to see if he actually died. Died. You type him in. <gasps> Last online a year ago. <gasps> Maybe he did. Where have you gone, man? Anyways. Okay, bye.